If your avatar has prop toggles that show up in your hand, you may have the issue where your hand gestures are still active, making your prop look more like it's floating in your hand. Today, I'll be showing you the best way to change your active hand gesture when you have a prop active. This tutorial will assume you already know a bit about object toggles. If you'd like to know more about that, I'll have a video linked in the description. First off, you'll need a gesture controller. If you don't have one, you can use one provided in the SDK by going to VRC SDK, Examples 3, Animation, Controllers. Select one and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then drag it into your Assets folder and rename it. Then select your avatar, and in your avatar descriptor, under Playable Layers, drag your gesture controller into the gesture property. Select your model in the hierarchy and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. On this duplicate, in the Animation tab, create a new animation for the hand gesture that will be used when this prop is toggled on. Make sure the prop is visible, then click the red record icon. Click Add Property, then under Animator, hold Shift and add every finger parameter for the hand you're overriding. Since this prop is in my model's right hand, I'll select all the right finger parameters. Next, delete the last set of keyframes. You can now start adjusting the finger positions on the first set of keyframes. Adjust them all until the hand is posed the way you want. Next, enter your gesture controller. Under Parameters, add the same parameter that you use to toggle your prop. Then, under Layers, create a new layer and set its weight to 1. Next, add an avatar mask to the layer. I'm working with the right hand, so I'll use the right hand mask. This will ensure this layer only animates the hand we're working with. In the layer, create a new state to act as the idle state. Then, drag in the animation for the hand pose. Set transitions between the states the same way you would for a toggle. In this case, the transition to the animation will set the parameter to true, and the transition back to the idle state will set the parameter to false. Be sure to turn off exit time and lower the transition duration. On the state for the hand gesture, click Add Behavior and select VRC Animator Tracking Control. In this behavior, set the fingers you want to override to Animation. Add this behavior again to the idle state and set the fingers to Tracking. Ensure that your gesture controller has been added to your avatar descriptor, then upload your avatar. Your avatar should now have a proper hand animation when your prop is toggled on.